Love it or loathe it, veganism is on the rise with the number of people choosing a plant-based diet quadrupling between 2014 and 2018. And recent figures show one in 12 parents are raising their children as vegan. But some experts are warning it is difficult for a child or baby to get all the nutrition they need from a vegan diet. We're well, joined now by Sarah Jane Halliwell, a vegan mother who won't force her views on her children, and Jess Porgazga, uh, Porazga, sorry, Jess, who's bringing up her 11th month old, Jonathan, uh, who's in the studio with us as a vegan baby. There he is with her partner, Sam. Uh, looking very content and happy this morning. And we're also joined by Dr. Hillary to give us a medical perspective on this as well. Uh, so, Sarah Jane, let's start with you. You are vegan. I am, yes. But you've decided not to bring your children up as vegan. No, uh, I don't want to put my views on my children. I don't think you should put your religious, dietary or political views on your children. I think we have children to guide them to their own destination, not my destination. I mean, my husband, he eats meat anyway, um, so he can cook all the meat. I uh, I <laughs> not your thing. It's not my thing at all. But yeah, basically, I want my children to make their own decisions. I don't want them to live outside of society because basically that's what you do do if you're a vegan a little bit mm. before they're ready to. And, and also being vegan can be quite lonely socially. Um, and I want them to be able to go to parties and not mm. have to think about serious things until they're ready. And when mm. they're ready, I will tell them the absolute truth in varying degrees. Obviously, I'm not going to sing, oh, MacDonald had a farm and slaughtered all the animals, but I will tell them the truth as they're ready, mm. and then Je they can make their own decision. Jessica, you've made a different decision. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you also a vegan mum, and you've decided to bring up your baby vegan. Yeah. So, you know, in Sarah Jane's view, you're imposing your choices on yeah, your child. I find that child. a really strange way of putting it, to be honest, because it's not imposing your views, it's raising your child, which is what every parent does. Mm -hmm. Like, parents bring their children up with their ethics, with their morals mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, I wouldn't, you know, bring my child up and say, well, we're not racist, but, you know, knock yourself out, kid. I don't, I don't think that's the same thing, though. No, I no, think... no, I mean, it's not the same thing, but it's... But, it's um... but I think Jessica's point is that you are... E even by not bringing up your child as vegan, you're still imposing a view yes, on your child, Yes, aren't you? of course. Because they're children. My, yeah, and it is my <laughs> husband's have their own views. But I suppose age. I just want them to try everything food-wise mm. so they can make up their own minds. Jessica, the, I think a lot of people worry about nutrition. So, yeah. Dr Hillary, are there nutritional concerns when it comes to raising uh, a child as a vegan? Professor Mary Futrell of University College London says in the worst cases not feeding your child the right nutrients, if you're bringing them up this way, can lead, you know, to a fatality. Oh, uh, it can do in extreme cases, but certainly it can lead to deficiencies. Uh, and there are many children who are deficient in iron in this country, deficient in omega-3, deficient in B12, uh, etc. So it's much more difficult to raise a child on a vegan diet. You have to be something of an expert, which Jess obviously Perfect. is. And, you know, you're saying so that, it's you know... It's perfectly possible, mm. but... You've only got a window of opportunity for full brain development in the first two years of life. And unless you take that window of opportunity, they will never reach their full potential. So omega-3, really important. B12, iron, calcium, iodine. These things you might not easily get from a vegan diet. And unless you're careful, those children won't get their full development. So you just have to be really expert in the diet mm. that you provide for them. I mean, I think that's this the same with a meat-eating diet, though, as well. Like, there's loads of people who would bring their children up eating nothing but, you know, pasta and cheese, and they're not going to get the full range of, sure. of nutrients yeah. as well. But they're not going to come under a microscope like I am just mm. because we're not giving them animal products at all. But I think B12 is an, an iodine for me. I mean, I... I have a bad diet. I just eat crisps and Diet Coke, so I am not uh, a great mum. I can't even cook, so again, I'm not great in that aspect. But I would worry if my children were vegan about the B12 and the iodine thing because I know from my own uh, experience, when I have had a healthy diet as a vegan, I've still kind of suffered a little bit with that. Mm. So from my own personal point of view, I don't feel confident that I would be able to be clever enough to give my child a varied diet. Yes, John, John, Jonathan's just little at the moment, is he? 11 months, just started tottering around and, and looks very happy and noisy <laughs> and gorgeous. Um, are you worried slightly about when he gets a bit bigger and he's going to little kids' parties Not and there's all. little sausages and stuff and he's going to be sort of making mm. those choices. I mean, the good thing is, because, as we said, veganism is so on the rise, um, there are so many other vegan parents out there. Like, when I was pregnant, um, I went to an antenatal class. 
made friends with six other mums and two of us are vegan already. So he's already got a vegan friend like that's being raised mm -hmm. vegan as well. Will he only so... go to parties with vegan friends then? Oh, no, no, not at all. Oh, okay. But I mean, I, I'm a baker, so I'm quite happy to like provide loads of sweet treats for Do him. Do you worry about having to police that, though, and also him suddenly realising there's stuff that he can't have when his friends are having it and it all looks delicious? Mm. Not really, because everything I provide him is delicious and, you know, I can easily provide him the alternatives, which will go down just as well. There's literally nothing out there that there isn't a vegan alternative for now. I mean... I I do worry about eating disorders as well, though, because I think if you restrict children, certainly from my experience, with anything, um, you can cause them to obsess about it and want it more. I know, uh, for example, a friend of mine um, didn't have any chocolate or anything like that when mm. they were younger, so now they have to eat a whole packet of biscuits, whereas I was allowed to eat whatever I want, so I've been able to make a choice about my diet. Jessica, if, um, if your little baby Jonathan decides, you know, at a party to eat, you know, a sausage on a stick, and you don't get there in time, what would you feel? Or if, I mean, you know, I'd, when he's be... four or five says, actually, I don't like all this alternative stuff, I just want to eat what Some my bacon. friends are eating at school. Well, I'd be disappointed, obviously. Um, I would tell him the truth about where it comes from. Mm. Um, we're going to be raising him to know exactly where it comes from. And I'm not going to show him slaughterhouse videos, obviously. Mm. Um, but the fact that, you know, you wouldn't show a child a slaughterhouse video shows how violent and horrific it is. Mm. And we want to bring our children up to be compassionate. We want to bring them up to be kind to animals. Everyone brings their child up to be kind but to animals. But what if he but... decides that, having taken all of that into account, actually carry, he wants to carry on eating meat? Would you, uh, uh, would you, you stop him? Five years old, for example. Yeah, for well, instance. Yeah, absolutely, I would. Um, you'd allow him still... to or you'd stop him? I'd stop him because it's still my choice to raise him mm. at that age. Mm. And you st every parent would make their decisions for them. You know, if at five years old he saw someone drinking a beer or smoking a cigarette mm -hmm. and said, I want to try that, of course I'd say, no, you can't try that. Is there That's an age not... at which you think, I mean, are you going to keep this going until he's 16 or 18? Well, yeah, I, would, you, I think that's a, a, I think that's a reasonable age. When I was a child, I wanted to go vegetarian and my parents wouldn't let me until I was 16. So, you know, I had that. Mm. I, I, I mean, I, I do think that we don't own our children. They kind of own us. Hmm. And I think... It's, I don't know, I wouldn't... Obviously, if my sons want a motorbike when they're older, I'm going to struggle with that. But it is their life, and as long as they're kind to people and they understand about life and they know about everything, then it's their choices to make. Do, do you give uh, Jonathan supplements? He has, um, yeah, has a vitamin supplement, a multivitamin mm. supplement every day, which is the NHS requirement for all babies, whether they're vegan or not. Yeah. Dr yeah. Hillary, are there statistics on, generally, how much healthier or not healthy a vegan diet is for children or for adults? I mean, it's difficult to say overall. because how many people are giving a, a fully nutritional vegan diet mm. to, to children? We, we, we don't know and we don't know how expert they are and, and how many children are missing out. But as, as the Professor Futural says, they have done research at UCH and they do d discover deficiencies mm. uh, and malnutrition in the worst instances. Mm. Um, so if it exists, that's a worry. Mm. Um, and, and I don't doubt Jess's uh, motivation for a moment and her expertise but not many people who want to embark down this route will actually be feeding their children an adequate diet. Yeah. We're getting heckled by Jonathan now. <laughs> we are. Yeah. I think Jonathan's he's got, decided he's had enough. This. Yeah. Uh, it's breakfast <laughs> time, I think, isn't In it? Fact, he, is, he is making noises our producer is making in our ear as well. Because <laughs> 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 sadly we're out of time. Well, so. good luck with it all. Interesting Thank to you. talk to you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Our Thank producer you. isn't eloquent as Jonathan. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people getting in touch. I mean, huge, huge response, haven't we? On Twitter, uh, on Twitter. more than 19,000 of you voting in our poll, an overwhelming 79% say that, no, you shouldn't raise your baby as a vegan. But I don't know how many of those are vegans. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> say that. Kaz says, I'm a vegetarian, not vegan. That's my choice for me. I gave my daughter the best start in life, health-wise, by feeding her meat and fish. When she's old enough, she can make her own decision like I did. Mm. And then uh, Lynette says, my daughter's vegan and planning to a baby, which she says will be raised vegan too. I don't agree, but as it's her baby, I'm not the yes. one making the decision. As long as it's done correctly with all the vit vitamins and nutrients, and I guess it's the parents choice to decide. Jessica, so you're raising Jonathan as a vegan, but mm -hmm. your partner is not vegan. He's vegetarian. Is, is he a disappointment to you? <laughs> 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 he eats mostly vegan because I'm the cook, so, you know. <laughs> we could just cut the cheese out, darling. I'd be happy. <laughs> All right, didn't want to start anything on air. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you very thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Thanks.